Hi everyone, I'm Bob Hale. Uh, I'm the co-convener of the Global Greens along with Gloria Palenko from the Dominican Republic. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our first ever global virtual event, Connecting for Green Action. As Millie said, we've got an interpretation feature. Uh, if you would like to listen to the interpretation in Spanish, uh, there's a button down the bottom right-hand corner, which is um, a little globe. Um, many organisations in Australia, including the Australian Greens, start meetings with an acknowledgement of country to recognise our First Nations people who have been the custodians of this land for thousands of years. For me, this group is called the Wurundjeri people who are members of the Kulin Nation. Of course, an acknowledgement is only a first step and needs to be followed by action. Um, and I'm pleased to say that we've got several sessions focused on Indigenous issues in our program. And we're also in the process of starting an Indigenous working group. So today, we acknowledge First Peoples as custodians of the country from which we join this online conference. We pay our respects to the First Nations elders and current descendants of these countries. We especially commit to that part of our work as Greens that is guided and led by Indigenous peoples in redressing past injustices and preserving current Indigenous custodianship of the land. I welcome all those who identify as First Nations people to our conference today. We have pushed the world beyond its limits in so many ways, and the world is sick. The coronavirus, climate change, environmental collapse are just some of the symptoms of this sickness, and we need urgent, strong action to stop this degradation and to help it recover. The Greens are the only political force willing and able to tackle the root cause of these issues. And we are the ones who understand the issues and know what needs to be done. That is why it's so important to have strong green parties in every corner of the world. We desperately need a strong green movement to push governments in power, whatever they are, to be much greener and to tackle the big issues. It's our responsibility and our commitment to be involved, which will drive this change and help solve these urgent and difficult issues. So a bit of the history and structure of the Global Greens. Um, oh. um, so what is the Global Greens? The Global Greens is based on our charter which is the founding document of the Global Greens and underpins all our work. It's a unique and inspiring document which sets out our core values in six pillars, which are the participatory democracy, non-violence, sustainability, respect for diversity, social justice and ecological wisdom. The history um, of the Global Greens. It was formed in Canberra in, two, in 2001 with the initial Congress. And since then we've had a uh, Congress in the second one in Sao Paulo, Dakar, Liverpool, and then the next one will be in Seoul in 2023 in about 15 months time. There's four federations in the Global Greens, Africa, Americas, Asia Pacific and Europe. And the reason we exist is to bring people together. We've got over 100 member parties. We've got over 400 members of parliament, many, many local councillors, and we work to link parties, small with large, national with regional, and those with common issues. And we also support emerging parties. The structure of the Global Greens allows us, provides a framework for, um, to create other, um, other working groups and networks. Um, climate change, women, oh, hang on. Climate change, parliamentarians, um, women's networks, and there are others uh, in the process of being developed. But, this, uh, but these need to be driven by you. These are grassroots groups. Um, So with the delays to the Congress, we wanted to give you all the chance to come together to learn and share and meet 
but also as the name of the event suggests, we want you to be inspired and energized so you can take ideas and, and actions back to your own parties to help them grow and develop. I'd like to highlight one feature of Hoover, which is Meetup. We've set up a virtual cafe, a virtual global cafe, which will be open for the whole 24 hours of the event. And I and others will be dropping in for a chat. Um, so uh, keep an eye on that. And I'd like to thank everyone who's been involved with creating this event, um, our event committee, um, but in particular, our new event manager, Millie and Yolina for their fantastic work. And also our outgoing executive secretary, Amy Tyler, and thank you very much to all our interpreters who helped make our events available to a diverse range of people. I wish you all the best for an enjoyable and successful event and for a green 2022 and beyond. Thank you. So I'd like to introduce Gloria, who will speak in Spanish. So if you would like to listen in English, you need to use the little interpreter, interpreter button and choose English. Thanks, Gloria. Muchas gracias, Bob. Saludos a todas y todos los presentes. Yo, Gloria Polanco, junto a Bob Hill, co-conveners de la Global Greens. Hoy tenemos el privilegio de darles la formal bienvenida a este evento innovador y nunca antes visto. El primer congreso virtual de los verdes del mundo. Estoy muy emocionada de dirigirme a todos ustedes, grandes líderes políticos y activistas de todo el mundo. Unidos en una misma visión, en un mismo propósito y en una misma lucha. La protección de nuestra casa común, la tierra y de los derechos de los que habitamos en ella. La pandemia pudo posponer nuestro encuentro presencial. Y sé que muchos, así como a mí, nos hace falta ese abrazo y ese calor fraternal que nos caracteriza a los verdes. Pero algo nos queda bastante claro. Y es que la pandemia no nos pudo detener. Quiso poner límites y fronteras y le hemos demostrado que los verdes estamos más conectados que nunca para enfrentar los tiempos difíciles que estamos viviendo. Más conectados que nunca para fortalecer a los partidos verdes de todo el mundo y para plantearnos estrategias y acciones globales con impacto efectivo e inmediato en nuestras regiones. Creo firmemente en que en la unidad está la fuerza. Y la política solo es cambiada desde la política. Y así como decía Bob, los verdes somos la única fuerza política que hoy se une desde este evento, Connecting for Green Actions, asumiendo el reto, no solo de estar conectados por 24 horas, hablando de acciones y políticas verdes, sino también de implementarlo, levantando líderes locales con un objetivo común, elevándonos por encima de nuestras individualidades, algo que nos caracteriza como organización y muestra lo fuerte que somos en la diversidad de nuestros representantes a nivel global, marcando un precedente de que somos una verdadera comunidad global. Cuando asumimos la coordinación de esta impresionante organización, éramos conscientes de la fuerza y de la grandeza de los verdes, pero hoy tenemos plena convicción de que estamos listos para cambiar el mundo, porque es un hecho de que estando los verdes en los asientos de poder y de influencia, esta era, diferente de las anteriores, será marcada por la inclusión social, por el respeto entre las naciones y los pueblos, por economías más sostenibles, en otras palabras, caracterizada por ser verde. Y no podríamos finalizar sin aprovechar este espacio para honrar a todos aquellos que hicieron este evento posible al equipo organizador conformado por las cuatro regiones, a Jolín, así como decía Bob, a Mili, nuestra coordinadora de eventos, a nuestra secretaria ejecutiva saliente, Amy Taylor, gracias por su esfuerzo y su dedicación. Y no menos importante, nos gustaría agradecer a cada uno de los conferencistas y miembros que se darán cita y estarán participando en estas 24 horas. Sean todos y todas bienvenidos. Cuentan con nosotros desde la coordinación global y esperamos que disfruten de todo lo que este evento tiene para ofrecer. Y sobre todo, que estas acciones verdes sean multiplicadas y aplicadas en cada una de sus naciones. Muchas gracias. Voy a introducir a Mili, que tiene unas palabras también.
Thanks so much, Gloria. Um, I will be speaking in English. So yes, you'll just need to view um, in the English channel. So thanks, Gloria and Bob. Um, and welcome everyone. As Bob and Gloria both mentioned, I am the event coordinator for the Global Greens. Um, and I'd really like to extend my welcome to you all. And thank you so much for joining us for our first uh, virtual conference, Connecting for Green Action. We're absolutely thrilled to have you as part of this conference and we're really looking forward to what will be an incredible 24 hours of inspirational green focus sessions. We're delighted to have over 900 participants like yourselves joining us for over 30 sessions, which will be presented by over 100 speakers from across the globe. With an exciting conference ahead, I'd like to take this opportunity to run you through some of the event logistics to ensure your conference is a really positive experience. So firstly, if you haven't already created an account with Hoover, we would encourage you to do so. Um, like Bob mentioned, it lets you network with other people. So when you go to create your account, please use the same email address you registered with for the conference. And if asked for an event code, I'm just gonna drop that in the chat now. Um, so if you are asked for an event code when you register, please use the code that's in the chat. Um, I will also drop in the chat a link to the web app. So if you can't access uh, Hoover via your mobile, you're also able to access it via your desktop um, or, your, or your laptop. So there's the link for the web app. Um, if you can't access via the internet, you can also download the Hoover app from the App Store and the Google Play Store. So once you're in Hoover, you'll be able to network with your fellow attendees through various community boards. Additionally, you'll be able to connect with the session organisers by visiting the agenda tab and then clicking on the session you're attending. Once you're in a session, you can add various sessions to your, to your agendas. You can ask questions to the organisers, you can directly message the speakers, and you can view the broadcast of the session. So for those unable to join via Hoover, there is an alternative option. Um, you can join via the Connecting for Green Action website. So I'm just dropping that one in the chat now as well. So if you can't connect via Hoover, please visit connectingforgreenaction.org. And then you'll need to click the agenda tab and then click join stream. Um, and just a note, you'll only be able to join the stream at the time of the event. So once you're in a Zoom session or once you're watching a stream, we encourage you to actively participate in the session. You can do this by asking questions in the chat, turning your camera on and using the reaction button in Zoom. If you have any technical difficulties throughout the conference, um, we've got a tech support email, which you're more than welcome to email. And I'm just putting that one in the chat as well. So feel free to reach out to us via that email. Um, just a reminder to ensure that Connecting for Green Action is a safe and inclusive event. We'd like to draw your attention to our community guidelines. We do encourage you to contribute throughout the sessions, but we ask that you respect your fellow participants and refrain from making any defamatory, offensive, profane, unlawful and or threatening comments. If you have a question about our community guidelines and or your participation, please email the Global Green Secretary and I'm gonna drop that email in the chat as well. There we go. Um, so I'd also like to take this opportunity, um, as Gloria and Bob did, to uh, remind everyone that we have a team of wonderful interpreters who have been led by Anne McFall, and they've kindly offered to, uh, they've offered their services to us. So I'd like to extend our thanks to the interpreters who have enabled us to run an inclusive event where language is not a barrier for participation. Finally, I'd like to remind you that as this is our first virtual conference, we really value your feedback. We have a post conference survey, it's very short and it can be accessed via this link in the chat. So I'm just popping that in there as well. Um, so you can access the survey, sorry, by, via that link, or if you are in Hoover, you can visit resources, then surveys, and then you'll see it there. So we'd really appreciate it if you could take the time to provide us with some feedback so we can make future events even better. So thanks so much for your time and I wish you a wonderful conference and I hope you feel inspired to take green action.
So Millie, that's it now, isn't it? We just, um, we can go away and then come back to an event, uh, a session rather. Yep. Yeah, so that's right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for joining the opening session. And uh, the next session will be starting in about 40 minutes.